Hey guys, let me ask you a quick question. Take a look at this chart with the 200 exponential moving average on it and try to find out what determined the price to reverse right in this area and was unable to move higher. What high is there and what is so important in that area that made the price reverse and go the other way? You could say that this is an area of resistance from the previous swing and you would not be wrong but there is also something else hiding around that area. And that's another variation of a 200 moving average, and more specifically, the 200 hull moving average. And here it is, a perfect short opportunity at an area of confluence with the previous swing and the 200 hull moving average. I'm sure that many of you don't use other types of moving averages besides the simple and exponential ones but in this video we'll discuss about the other moving averages you should start paying attention to if you want to spot these kind of areas on your charts so the moving average is probably the most well-known and heavily used indicator in technical analysis because it effectively captures the trend in an easily identifiable manner Moving averages are used to calculate the average value of the price over a determined period of time and are extremely popular among trend-following traders. Here are the main moving averages used by traders. First, we have the simple moving average. The simple moving average, the most common one, represents an average of the closing price over a specified number of periods. The simple moving average is more stable and signals the changes in price movements in a slow fashion. For you to see the differences between the moving averages, we'll plot these averages on the same chart and we'll use a 50 period in our analysis. Then we have the exponential moving average. The EMA gives a higher weightening to recent prices. The shorter the EMA's period, the more weight will be applied to the most recent price. The calculation method of the exponential moving average is much more complicated compared to a simple moving average. The most important thing to remember is that the exponential moving average is more sensitive to the recent price dynamics. Now things begin to get interesting. Here we have the triple exponential moving average. The triple exponential moving average seeks to reduce the lag of a typical exponential moving average by tripling the weightening of recent prices. This moving average responds to market movements much quicker than the SMA or the EMA. Then we have the adaptive moving average. The adaptive moving average was created to improve the original exponential moving average. The adaptive moving average multiplies the weightening of an EMA by a volatility factor. Thus, this moving average adapts more quickly to the markets by signaling when volatility conditions change. Its main advantage over other moving averages is the fact that filters the noise in the trend and automatically changes its speed considering the market volatility. Then we have the Hull Moving Average. Hull Moving Average, developed by Alan Hull, is a fast moving average, responsive, and with reduced lag. Hull used several weighted averages in calculating this moving average and claimed that this formula reduces market lag and increases smoothness at the same time. Another type of moving average is the weighted moving average. The weighted moving average was designed to find trend faster but without whipsaws. The weighted moving average offers more relevance on recent price moves and reacts more quickly to price movements than the simple moving average or the exponential one. And finally, the Zurich moving average. The Jurich moving average is used by some institution traders. Jurich claims that uh, this moving average is a powerful adaptive tracker that can smooth time series data with very little small lag, no overshoots and no oscillations. 
Traders use different settings of moving averages for different reasons. Some are interested in the long-term trend, others want to trade based on the short-term trend. The length input of a moving average depends on the objectives of the trader. Shorter moving averages are used for short-term trading, while longer-term moving averages are used by long-term investors. If we take into account the length of a moving average followed by traders, there are three main types of moving averages. First is the long-term moving averages. The most common moving average is the 200 one, and many traders apply it on the daily charts. It is believed that many institutions like banks, hedge funds, forex dealers are following this indicator. If we take a look at this indicator on any currency pair, commodity, market index or even cryptocurrencies, we can immediately see its value. Then we have the medium term moving averages. Many traders prefer to use the 50 period moving average. This is considered a faster moving average as fewer input periods are used. The primary effect is that this moving average will react more to the medium term movements. The 50 moving average is considered one of the most effective trend indicators, offering also dynamic support and resistance levels on a chart. Also, we have short term moving averages. Short term moving averages are preferred by traders that want to trade with the current market momentum. The most common short term exponential moving averages are the 10 EMA and the 20 EMA. These moving averages react the fastest to price movements. Also we have Fibonacci moving averages. Some traders often take their input values for the moving averages from the Fibonacci sequence. Most common Fibonacci based moving averages are the 5 moving average, the 8 moving average, the 21, the 55 and so on. Traders must keep in mind that moving averages are lagging indicators as they are based on past information. The 200 moving average will have a much greater lag compared to a 50 moving average because it includes market prices for the past 200 periods. Short term moving averages respond more quickly to new price changes but at the same time offer more false signals. So a trader must find a balance when using moving averages. Choosing one of the types of the moving averages depends directly on the style and preferences of each market participant. A simple moving average responds more slowly to new price changes, while exponential moving averages or weighted moving averages provide a larger number of trading signals, many of which may be false. So it all depends on your trading style and on your trading objectives. If you got any value from this, please consider subscribing to our channel, share and like this video as it will help us a lot in the future. Until next time.